Today is something that I know is going to make this room be a special time. And so thank you for the honor to be here. Can we pray together? Sure. God, your scripture tells us in so many ways emphatically that eternally we are established in Jesus Christ. That tonight, while we mourn a loss, we also celebrate and have hope because of who you are, what you've done, and who that makes us. And we get to celebrate a life that displayed that over and over again. Not just in the forgiveness of sin, but in the mission he lived out. Thank you for that, God. We trust you that tonight is going to be a time that we will worship you. And our celebration of a life well lived will be worshiped to you as well as it testifies to who you are. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Angel, and the trumpet call of God, 
the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Thanks be to God. Amen. I got to be honest with y'all. I am. Uh, I'm incredibly humbled to be in this place with your family. As I read the accolades and the accomplishments of Odera, I was just blown away at a man who lived out his faith, not just as an ideal, but he had to live it out. He had to make decisions on the regular and walk in the Spirit, and the Spirit be the one to lead him. And that testimony is something that's beautiful that I know you all know. And so the opportunity to share God's Word today um, with you all, thank you. Thank you very much. Today is a day that uh, we realize loss. We get to celebrate life, and we get to embrace hope. For those of you closest to Adair, this is a new season. There can be beauty in the changing of the seasons. Just this uh, past week, we had some of our first frost in this area, and our backyard has some roses there, and um, the people that lived there before me planted them. And I went out there, and it was amazing to see the frost, just this extra coating, this extra layer on something that usually lived in spring and summer almost seemed like super ironic and contrasting. And I shared the photo, I took a photo of it because I was like, wow, this is pretty, pretty cool and pretty amazing all at the same time. And I shared it with my wife. 
And, and she took the time because she was just moved by it. And she said, I want to I wanna write something down because I'm thinking through this a lot. Like it's really impacting me. And she wrote these words. It's a beautiful reminder to me that each season has its purpose and it gives way to a new one. The incredible thing about God's creation is it shows us how to surrender to the next season. And in essence, we change. It doesn't fight it but instead follows it. If you're like me, then maybe you don't love change. And it's true that in different times in our lives, change can be extremely painful. But even in the hardest changing of seasons in our own lives, there can be beauty. And while there may certainly be unknowns, I'm thankful we can surrender them to a known. A faithful father who has created the roses and shows them how to let go. A mystery in this life is death. It is. I wish I could stand up here today and answer all of our questions about this one thing. It's something that people have pondered for generations. But this I do know. Death is defeated. We said it today already. We sang it in songs. And you know this. It's why today I've seen you celebrating. Because you know that there's a greater hope. Today we may feel the weight of loss. But there's a difference in how each day goes now. Somebody, specifically Odera, made a significant imprint on this earth. In the places and the spaces that he occupied, in the community, in the family that he has loved and served. But the change that has come in his loss is not one that I know anybody wanted. In the pain that we feel in this unwanted change, I want you to pause for a moment and recognize there's a blessing. Let me clarify. Not everybody can stand up and mourn loss because they valued the life and the love that they got to experience with that person. And you have. Today as you mourn, it's a response to a reality, to a life that has impacted you truly. And there's blessing in that. There's blessing. Because there's been love and value. There's a legacy that remains alive. Today and beyond this, I know you will share stories. You will remember and you will reflect. I want to encourage you to share those stories. I know sometimes when there is death, again, because there's so many questions, to reach out to somebody and call them. Sometimes you might be thinking, am I going to make them sad right now when I bring this up or I share this story? It's an opportunity, one that a legacy that you value remains alive. And it's an opportunity that in that moment, there may be tears of sadness, there may be tears of joy, but you get to lean in with one another and treasure still the legacy that lives on. And when the weight feels like a bit much, you get to lean into the one who gives us hope that you will see him again, that we will see him again. We will worship with him. We will celebrate together. It's an amazing, amazing thing. An opportunity to lean on one another. I encourage you and I pray for you and myself alike that we will recognize the one who is with us, always with us. Christ followers, there's hope. And let, let me say this so emphatically. Hope is not a wish. We don't have hope in an ambiguous idea. Hope has a name and his name is Jesus. May we embrace that. Hope is God, the creator of life and the redeemer of life. The defeater of sin, death, and evil. Scripture tells us that to be absent with, from the body is to be present with God. That once this life is over, we who have put our faith in Jesus Christ, we have eternity with him. Because he's been faithful and gracious on our behalf. And this is not something exclusive. Rather, God made a promise to Abraham in the beginning. You can look at Genesis chapter 12. That he would bless all people groups. All ethnos would be blessed. Whatever continent, whatever state, in Christ, the promise is ours. Let me go back a few thousand years to those shepherds who were just outside a field in Bethlehem. 
When the angel stood and said, Fear not, behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This is not left up to the universe, and this is not left up to our good works or our bad works. The truth is not depending on whether you believe today or not. Listen, I didn't come here to preach today. I came to share the same invitation that Odero responded to in his life. Hear that. The creator of the world has made it possible for humanity to be restored to the image of God. And we were intended to be that in intimate relationship with him now and forever. He did this through his son, Jesus, and he wants to live his grace and mission through us today by the power of the spirit. A lot of you know this verse, John chapter three, verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world in this way. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Now love verse 17. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him would be saved. Odero lived his life realizing he's not been redeemed to only have his sin forgiven, but because there's a mission that people would know they weren't called to be condemned, but to be saved. Not pushed away, but invited by the creator and designer of all things to know what true humanity looks like. And he fought for that. He lived that out. We have an amazing opportunity to know the presence of God and the faithfulness of God, the promise of God that we have in Christ. Odair is experiencing that fully right now. Fully. Today, God is inviting each of us to be whole in him. And so there will be days that you need to be reminded and be comforted. And there will be days that you will need forgiveness. There will be days that you need to go, am I actually just happy that I'm forgiven and waiting on the sweet by and by? Or am I engaged in the mission of endurance? Engaged in the mission of seeing God's image restored in all of humanity so we realize who we were created by and who we were created for. The little that I've got to hear about the life of the man that you all are celebrating tonight is he lived on mission because of the, he knew of the one who lived an ultimate mission on his behalf and not just his, but all of humanity. Amen. And collectively for all of us, but I'm going to pray a prayer that's in response to Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. God, first we just come to you and we praise you because of your so great faithfulness. We're able to testify to a life that has been incredibly lived, not just well lived, one that many can take pride in, one that was empowered by your spirit to truly be a witness to who you are in a world so desperate to see you, to know that your creator, who you are, is true. God, as this family experiences this new season of different, may they find great strength with one another. May their intimacy be all the greater as they lean on one another as they lean on you, may they experience the evidence of your presence in ways like never before. Draw them closer to you and so to one another. And the overflow will be a testifying to you and all that you are. Father, may we have a captivating view of your mercies in Christ Jesus. A view that leads us to a Holy Spirit empowered life of worship. Not a life overwhelmed, influenced, or swayed by the way of the day, but a life renewed and set apart for his mission, Jesus' mission. So we together as your body, as your family, made up of every tribe and language and people, are reflecting your promise with the people and in the places that you've positioned us. May we put our faith in the work of the Holy Spirit who is faithful, true, and in us. And may we believe this is possible in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Nothing impossible, nothing impossible. Can't you do? What would you do? Nothing impossible Thank you. with our God. Thank you. You do not lie, you do not lie. Oh, you do not lie. You do not lie. You do not lie. This marks the end of the first phase of this celebration. On behalf of Adam Bakunju and every Bakunju family. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to welcome each and every one of you here that has invested your time to be with us tonight to honor a visionary, to honor a man of integrity. Please. At this time, we are here to celebrate him completely. With me here is the best DJ in the whole world. Is music evangelist of my time, <laughs> DJ Chede. It's here with us. Uno gafu. If they talk, if they show, you understand. My name is MC Authentic. At that and the children, they're going to be out. Kafa Web, Batasia in a grand style. They're going to come in a grand style. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you have a change table, that's okay. And we change table. That's good. Okay.
around you and dead Lost all you in my head When you really see me in the twig We know we fight like this We know we know we fresh like this We know no such a trip like him Let's go, let's go, let's go I'm a big girl, let's go, let's go One, let's go, let's go Let's go, 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 let's go,
Ramunera, Ramunera, my God.
my life If you try me, you go chop breakfast You go chop breakfast Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, wait.
your prayers. As we travel to go bury him, we continue to ask for your prayers that everything goes smoothly while we're in Nigeria. As dad will say, it is well. Well, this end one, I don't know, but it's, it says the celebration continues. <laughs> Please stay and help yourselves to some food and drinks and dancing. But I think we're all done stuff at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, thank you. Thank I, from the bottom of our hearts, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Come, we're a yana, 
kwa nenu wala Ike juru nuwa nine Maha Jesus kari wiha